Hello, we are Team U D K from Chen Shaiwan Catholic Secondary School in Hong Kong. We are glad to participate in Robo Cup Asia Pacific 2022, and we would like to introduce our robot to everyone. My name is Lam Si Hong, the software developer and also the captain of the team. I am the person who wrote the program for the car. My name is Lam Wai Hin, the mechanical engineer who is responsible for assembling the robot. My name is Hong Ta Cheng, who is responsible for designing and soldering the robot and also taking videos. Unfortunately, our team captain, the only person who is responsible for the writing program in our team, was test positive to COVID-19 in PCR test on the 3rd of November. Not only are we responding correctly, but also setting up an online coding platform in a creative way. Writing codes by our team captain at home and being sent to us. As long as we upload to the main controller, he can check the results of the program through an online meeting, even though he isn't with us. Later on, we will introduce our successful method to resolve this problem in detail. Let's start our mechanical design introduction. Our robot contains various components so as to implement different types of instruction. This QMC5883L is the compass to adjust and indicate the direction of the robot. Not only is it small in size and light in weight, but also raw data is transferred to the main controller through I2C. HGSR04 is a light and small ultrasonic sensor, which is used to determine distance. Emitting acrosmatic sounds that detect up to 4 meters is a great advantage for us to locate the boundary of a field. The IR ring is the second important PCB in the robot which is responsible for detecting the IR ball. We have developed a 24 channels IR ring that the reading can be multiplied into one I square C bus. It also contains LEDs to show its power states, which convinces us to change the power supply. Before, we have chosen brushless motor PM3510 as our main motor with motor driver G1648. While the software team is developing the algorithm, we soon found that the motors do not have enough torque to power up the robot. It's a failure for the hardware team by not choosing the suitable motors. We soon changed to motors from Shihai, which have 600 RPM but lots of torque and is driven by BTN7971B. For the communication module, DL20 was used. SIGB wireless technology was used in this module in order to communicate with the microcontroller through UART protocol, giving a maximum speed of 3300 bps with extremely low power consumption allow us to communicate with strategy between two robots. The XT30 plug was used overall in the whole robot. It may prevent short circuits and we can exchange the motors more easily. For software part, we decided to use Arduino IDE for our main software development. We make numerous libraries for different modules used in our robot. Each of our libraries are object-oriented about a single module. After each library is finalized, we create an ultimate library consisting of a class of the whole robot. The class includes all the classes written for every module. The way we organize our libraries is more efficient for us to classify the jobs and do the debugging work for the program. Since we finish one library of a module, we may put it into the main library and focus on libraries of other modules. We perform a test for the program when we include a new library to the main program. If an error occurs during the test stage, it can be easier for us to find out the bug. When there is only one robot on the field since the second one is damaged, the robot which is not in the field will send signals to other robots through the DL20 module. Robots may switch roles automatically. Traditionally, we may use one robot as defense and one as offense. We have developed some software, and it will automatically switch between defense and offense.
our aim of the challenge is to score goals as fast as possible. We used the polar control on the motor and enhanced the whole process with specific design. I square C was used in the whole robot. We spent a lot of time and money on investing in how to multiplex all analog and digital signals into one I square C bus. Our solution is to add a microcontroller on each part of the robot. For example, 80 MHz-328P was added to the ultrasonic sensor ring for multiplexing four pairs of echo and track pins into one two-wire bus. Few LEDs were also added as the software team may intended to make it as an indicator light. In fact, 80 MHz-328P is the chip used on the Arduino Uno board. Compared to just plugging an Arduino Nano to the PCB, the way of soldering whole chips may make the PCB more uniform and lower the error rate by having less external connection. As mentioned before, our team captain Lam Si Hong was infected by COVID-19 virus Monday before the competition start. We would like to proudly introduce to you all how we can keep our team progress in a safe and creative way as he is the only software developer in our team. We started a web meeting and used VS Code and downloaded the extension live share on both sides. I will then write the code and the new change will be automatically updated on our side. My teammates then uploaded it to our controller Arduino Mega Pro 2560 through platform I.O. The solution was clearly successful and worked smoothly. It can comparatively boost the software development progress of our team. Before we switched to BLDC, we had planned to make our brushed motor driver. The project was suspended as we switched to BLDC. To fully utilize the space within the robot, a plan of self-developing motor driver has arisen. It's expected that the self-developed motor driver could be installed in our next version. In the future, we would like to add a camera system. In the year 2022, with an uncertain situation and suspension of school due to pandemic policy of Hong Kong, the face-to-face -face meeting time of our team members was sl slightly reduced. As the technology around the world is developing rapidly, we hope to add a cam camera system soon. In fact, the current main board is capable of installing an OpenMV X7 camera module, and we are currently working on making a hyperbolic mirror with an SLA printer. At last, we would like to express our greatest gratitude to our school teacher, Mr. Watt, and our mentor, Mr. Kwok Tony, to give us a memorable learning experience and to learn uncertainties as constant challenges. During the preparation, we failed thousands of times. We seemed to get lost and cannot find the path to getting rid of the failure. Luckily, with their unwavering support, all problems seem to have solution and solved perfectly.